it's Tiffany and Everest here <laughs> and I am here with a puppy haul video so obviously we have a puppy now uh, the puppy haul is going to consist of all of well most of the stuff that I bought for Everest uh, after I got her, like a little bit after I got her obviously and it also will include a few things that I bought for M and Lucy before I ended up getting Everest so I'm just labeling it a puppy haul because it's mostly for her anyway. All right, she wants to go play with M. M sitting right over there across the room or she wants to sit on my lap, I don't know. So <laughs> most of the toys and stuff have already had the tags taken off. I do have some new boxes and stuff that I need to open up. But I think we're gonna start off with some of the toys that I picked up the day that I got her. Well, obviously, let's, we got her this harness. Uh, she's wearing just this cute little pink harness that I got from Walmart for like $5. I did have to purchase a collar for her at the Humane Society when I adopted her. It was one of their rules and uh, they wouldn't let me get a harness and I am a huge harness person. I do not like collars. I mean, dogs, I'm fine with them having the collars on, but when I walk a dog or if just, just having them in general, I'm a big harness person and at night obviously I take it off and maybe during the day I take it off. but huge harness person so I had to buy this collar it, I don't know where I put it it's just a little blue collar that she's never ever gonna wear and it's not gonna fit anybody else because she's microscopic or she was microscopic she's gotten so big by the way she is suffering from an upper respiratory infection woo <laughs> now she's on antibiotics right now for that so that was a whole thing I may or may not make a video about that not not right now anyway <laughs> I am I also along with her little blue collar that I got I ended up getting a bag of the dog food they had her on which was Hill Science Diet Puppy I'm not a Hill Science Diet kind of gal I don't I had Sahara on that for a while for the the medicated version of it and I just I didn't like the ingredients sorry I'm looking off into the distance because M is actually in the playpen that I have here for Everest in the office and Everest is trying to get in but it's too big for her to get in anyway <laughs> So I ended up getting a bag of that dog food. That way I can transition her to the new dog food, which I purchased. Anyway, we'll get to that. So we're going to go through some of the toys. Probably won't be looking at the camera much because I got to watch this little thing. You know, we're on the potty training stage, obviously. Hiya! So I did get her a tag. I'm not, uh, yeah, I'll show you. It does say Everest on it. Yeah, you're official! And it has my information on it. So obviously I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But I did get that at che on Chewy.com. This is not sponsored or anything, but I personally love Chewy. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, it's pretty, I mean, generally it's very low priced. I don't think I've ever found anything that was like more expensive on there than it is at the store or whatever. Um, except for a few things, like when I was looking for a travel bowl for her and like a seatbelt harness for her. I ended up getting those elsewhere. But honestly, Chewy, for food and for litter and for everything, I'm I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. And they just deliver it right to your door. All right, we got some play in action. And it's time we get the toy thing going on. So, first up, we have this thing I got from Petco. I was kind of like running in and out of pet stores trying to grab some toys like because I didn't have a lot of time and it was just it was just crazy but I got this from Petco I thought this would be really good for her you know because she's she's a puppy she's a chewer this is actually one of her least favorite toys <laughs> she's chewing on a bunch of things right now it's one of her least favorite toys which I didn't expect at all actually but it's really nice I like it I'm trying to get her to play with it more and then we also have this one this tough bunny bone that I got at Walmart I really wish I would have remembered these prices for you guys, but I don't remember. I will tell you most of these were $5 or under because I don't like to pay over the moon for a toy unless, you know, obviously Bindi, my cattle dog, she's a big chewer, so I paid like $10 for this one specific, I think it was Outward Hound, they're like red stick or whatever. That thing she couldn't chew through very quickly, so I would pay that $10 so that she would have that. But usually I don't pay over $10 for a toy unless I, unless, you know, she turns out to be a chewer, then obviously I'm going to. This was, I actually think this was one of the most expensive ones. It is a tough, hard chewable and uh, these animals, I swear, M has a piece of plastic. This one is chewing on this, this box that I have here. Anyway, I ended up also picking up a bunch of these little, little teeny tiny tennis balls and whatnot because I saw these at Walmart and I was, they were like $7 for the pack of them. And I was like, she's going to outgrow these so quickly, just so, so quickly. And I don't want to buy them. 
but I was at Petco next and I walked past the clearance bin and they had the same pack in there for I think four dollars and I was like you know what I think it'll be worth it because she can't fit a regular tennis ball in her mouth so it's just it'll be worth it for her to play with for the time being it'll, she'll grow out of it so quickly but it'll be worth it next thing I got was from PetSmart you guys know I've raved about these in the past the chance toys so I wish I had the tag because I don't know the percentages and everything but the percentage used to go to like I think oh gosh it was like five or ten percent used to go to charity pet smart charities um, when you purchase these so they are five dollars that's it that's just that's it and this year usually like back when back in the day they just had dogs and cats versions of the plush this I guess last year I found out they had like sheep and stuff, but this year they have unicorns and cats and dogs and bunnies. It's just like a lot of stuff and I'm really excited. So I did get her this unicorn. I thought this was cute. Really, really adorable. And it was, I think it's well worth it. I mean, even just for a kid's toy, like for $5, why not? And it's safe because it's all embroidered. There's no buttons or anything. I really, really enjoyed this one. This one's a lot of detail too with like the sparkly fabric and whatnot, but she does hang out with this a lot. And then moving on, I did pick this one up from PetSmart as well. She's big into the crinkle toys and she is small. So I was kind of refraining from getting big toys. But the thing is, she's going to be a big dog. So I didn't also didn't want to get small toys. Uh, so that's like a reason I got this. Like I knew she'd cuddle with it for the time being. And then when she's bigger, she'll be able to play with it a lot, a lot better. So I ended up getting this. Um, I don't know, she like crinkly stuff and had pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns on it and I was like, why not? And I think they were having a little bit of a sale on Halloween stuff and I was just like, alright, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, so this is kind of like, she doesn't play with it a lot, she tries to drag it around but she's still just too little. Uh, so, she'll get there. And then I did get a couple tennis balls. Um, they were really cheap from Walmart and I got them kind of just to be ready for when she is ready for tennis balls. And then I did get this little owl. This is one of her favorite toys. This was from Walmart and it's crinkly. She loves the crinklies. Oh, <laughs> it does have a squeaker in the head and it is already like super dirty. She takes this on car, car rides. We take this on car rides. We actually have a moose as well, uh, like a tough chew moose. I really wish I would have brought it in. It's in the car. I keep it in the car for her to chew on. And we also have some of those little teeny tiny puppy Nyla bones that she chews on. I'm not a huge fan of Nyla bone, like I'm not my main thing, but, but, um, it's, it's been really good for her for chewing and stuff. So I have those two in the car. Uh, they were also purchased from Walmart. So this is her favorite right now. Here, you want to play this? Here, here, here. There you go. Play it. Um, oh, and then her other favorite I got from Petco. They were having 50% off of their Halloween stuff. I got this little bat. Look how cute it is. This was, I would say this is her first toy. I mean, I got a bunch of these at the same time, but this one I gave to her. This one she took to right away and she was playing with it. It's just so cute. So it has a crinkly body with a, does it have a squeaky head? Yes, it has a squeaky head. Um, no, ma'am, excuse me. Thank you, she's playing with the bat now, so we're good. Another thing I purchased from PetSmart were these cute little Halloween themed toys. They were, ma'am, ma'am, she's chewing a box that she should not be chewing. So I got this little chocolate bar. She loves this little chocolate bar. And these, I know these were like $2.99, maybe less, because I think they were having a little bit of a sale. And then we got this candy corn. <laughs> uh, my sister was with me at the time. So my sister had come into town, and she she was with me with the whole puppy adoption and everything. And she wanted this one. She said this was cute. I'm like, I don't know about candy corn, but she actually really likes it. I have a lot of ha like Halloween-themed things, unfortunately, <laughs> because she was adopted at this time of the year. So anyway, another thing I got was at Petco was this llama. This was actually in like the same bin as this thing. And I think they were like two for something. And this llama has been everywhere with us. I call this our little travel llama. And he went to the beach with us. He usually goes on car rides with us, but for some reason today I ended up taking the moose instead. So I'll probably end up putting this back unless she wants to end up sleeping with it because she did sleep with it last night. But anyway, it's our little travel llama. And that you want your little llama? You want it? You want it? We're not even halfway through our toy haul yet, or our haul yet. We're about through our toy haul. Next, I did get this. This is her favorite big toy. She cut, She sleeps with this every night. Uh, it, it is one of the 2019, same as this. 
uh, the, the what I call the chance toys from PetSmart. I don't know if they have a name, if it's changed or whatever. Apparently it's changed because we have a bunch of different animals now that we get. It's a little cute little pink bunny. And I was like, aw, because I was there and I walked in. I got really excited because I saw this bunny. I was like, oh my gosh, Jenna, they have like different animals now. It's not just a cat and a dog. Because what we would do is every year we would get the dog. And we had like this big collection of them. And then eventually I was like, I don't really want this big collection of them. So I gave them to my dog. And then we never really purchased after that. And I think last year was the first year we didn't purchase. So that's why like they had the new animals. Anyway, this year they have the bunny, the unicorn, a cat and a dog. And I don't know if they have anything else. They might have two versions of the dog. Don't quote me on that. I wasn't I wasn't completely paying attention. I was mesmerized by the new animals. So I was like, oh my gosh, we got to get this one. So I grabbed this one first. And they had the unicorns. Uh, but there were only like two of them. And I was like, I don't know if I should get one. But I ended up getting one. So I'm assuming the unicorns are very popular. This one, however, is her favorite. I would say this, the bat, and the owl. And maybe the llama. They're, they're just like her favorites right now. And I like the little bunny. <laughs> Oh, we have one more toy. It was underneath the bunny. We have this little rope that I got at Walmart. This was like 97 cents. I was like, this is perfect. This was one of the first toys I bought her. So it's like this little rope. You know, she has a little rubbery chew bit here. This will be perfect for her. She does not touch this. I mean, I got her to play tug of war like once, but other than that, she just doesn't touch it, which stinks. You know, like ropes, ropes are a good go-to, but not for her. All right, so that wraps up. Kind of like this stuff. Well, I have one more thing that's opened, I think. Um, I did end up picking up these blue. I know she's a puppy. Don't don't harass me, guys. There's some things here like that are not necessarily for puppies, uh, but I did get for future purposes or like just just temporarily till I got something for puppy. Um, I did get these blue buffalo bits, soft, moist training treats. I got the chicken kind. So I had these in my cart and Chewy, or like a, a different uh, wilderness one. Uh, I don't remember which one it was. In my cart, a Chewy, but I hadn't placed the order yet. I was like, I really want something to be able to take out to her um, if she goes to the bathroom and reward her. So I take these and I literally break them into four pieces. Um, they're like already super tiny, but you know, she's, she's super tiny. So I break these into four pieces and she gets one when she goes to the bathroom. But luckily, I think I did get puppy designated ones in one of these boxes I hope mostly because she didn't show an interest in these right away um, and plus I'm not a huge like for treats I always do three dogs bakery or I'll make my own so when she's older and obviously full-size dog I'll probably start making my own treats and I will probably do videos if that's something you guys would like to see but for the time being I got these little training treats because we have a lot of training to do and at first she didn't take to treats it took her a couple days like just recently she started liking treats so so <laughs> right behind me we have a big box and I ended up getting a dog crate obviously gotta get a dog crate I ended up getting the two door 42 inch dog crate for the from Frisco. I love Frisco products. Oh my gosh, you guys, she's laying with her bunny. I wanna, oh my gosh, can I show you? Oh my gosh, I have to show you. There she is, look at her. You laying with your bunny, honey? You laying with your bunny? Back to it. <laughs> I love the Frisco products. I have a lot of Frisco, like cat trees and cat products. So <laughs> the dog stuff is, Equally as good, I have set up the crate. I know you guys probably think I'm super strong for just picking that up. No, I took it out the moment I got it and I set it up already and I will hopefully remember to put in a clip of it all set up. <laughs> it is, it has a divider. So, you know, obviously she's in the puppy stage so she doesn't need the full crate. I was only gonna get the 36 inch crate, but we don't really know what breed she is. They said she's a Border Collie uh, Retriever mix. Uh, but they label her as a border collie. She, they say she has a little bit of retriever in her. I took her to the vet, and the vet was like, "Is she a healer mix?" And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I don't know what she is." So you know, border collies and retrievers are kind of you know, not two different sizes, but you know, retrievers bigger than a border collie. So. I was like, I don't know what size to get, but I figured I'd rather give her the space in case she's going to be a big dog. I just, I really don't know at this point. So we'll go with the 42 inch. Plus it was like $5 more for the 42 inch. So I figured it's fine. And I got the two door because 
I really regretted not getting the two door for when I had Bindi when I had well I feel bad saying when I had Bindi but Bindi's back home with my family because that's where she wants to be um, but when I bought the crate for her I got the one door and it was just a pain to clean and it was just and you had to position it only one way so this one you can kind of put up against the wall in a corner whatever and you have the two door access so it I love the two door I'm pro two door here is a look at Everest's crate setup right now Hi, there's Zuini. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh no. I hope you feel better. Feel better. Yeah. So I have it divided there. We have a pee pad for extra. Oh, that's something I forgot to mention. We do have pee pads as well. For just in case. Huh. Just in case. But it's really nice. So this is the first door and then obviously the second door is over here I have something in the way over there so I can't really get over there just now I'm reorganizing reorganizing my room because I had to make room for this this is where my dresser used to be now we're gonna move on this video is gonna be super long because I have so many things we're gonna move on to one of the several boxes I have oh here's one more thing so I did end up getting Greenie's puppy chews <laughs> one because her breath smelled rank but she's a puppy you know whatever uh these are for six months and up i have not i tried to give her one to chew on uh in the middle of a car ride because we were kind of just sitting there and we were bored but you know she didn't really like it and i was like that's okay you know i'll just wait i'm just gonna wait for six until the six month mark or when she's a little bit older and she could chew them and it'll be okay i did get these though because my cats are huge fans of greenie I don't that's it again I'm a three dogs if you guys are familiar with three dogs bakery I always get their treats and chews and all of that stuff um I just I greenies has a lot of ingredients that I'm not so sure of and it's just that's just how it is so I got them because my cats love them I I, I let my cats have the hairball treats because you know they have hairball problems and I'm just like you guys love these they're, they're literally all over them as soon as they the other treats they're like nah like M doesn't really like other treats but greeny hairball treats she is over all over that all over that like ink on paper it's it's ridiculous so I figured Everest would like this maybe every once in a while especially since it will clean her teeth uh, I also did get a toothbrush set but we'll get to that <laughs> So I think this might be, yeah, this is the stuff actually I got for uh, Lucy and M before I got the puppy. So I did get Lucy her Peter's Play Ball. This is kind of a necessity for her. It is just this ball. She consumes one of these, like I would say, every two weeks. And she just loves playing it and tossing it around. So I got her one, a new one of those. Luckily, she was still using hers, so she's not completely deprived. Oh, hold on. <laughs> so I did get M's food. Now this is not a preferred food. I would rather have her on Taste of the Wild. I'm a huge Taste of the Wild fan. Or raw, but you know, raw is a little more uh, out of my budget than I can deal with right now. But we have the Blue Wilderness, uh, what is it? Uh, indoor Hairball Weight Control. So I got this one because originally I had Sahara and M live here. Update, Sahara no longer lives here. She did not adjust well and she got severely like vicious <laughs> she would attack me constantly and attack m and m was gushing blood one day i was just like this can't happen so i had my family take her back because she is technically my sister's cat anyway you know i just kind of took her in and started taking care of her so they took her back and she adjusted back home just like that she's never had a single problem since she hasn't had a uti since she got back it's been crazy so i got the weight control for her and then M had problems with hairballs and throwing up and having like problems in that sense. So I got that for her. And I was like, this is a combo that we both needed. And now M's starting to gain a lot of weight. So <laughs> I decided to keep her on this anyway. I don't know though. I might, I don't know. I'm really thinking about going back to Taste of the Wild. But it's up in the air for now. You know, she's, she's doing really well on this food. So I don't want to take her off of it and then have to go through a whole thing. So I ended up getting another bag of this. You know, we're going for another round. And she's staring at me. She's like, Mom, are you are you going to feed me? Hello, girl. Hey, girl. You want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look how big she is. Oh, my gosh. This, this little monster. Hi. She's upset. She's upset. She's like, no, I don't want to be here. I love you. All right, you go play. 
All right, so I think, oh, and then I got, of course, of course, of course, of course, I got the, the greenies. <laughs> The hairball control. They did change the bag. I'm pretty sure. I'm like almost almost sure they changed the bag since I got them like last month or whatever. So I got them two or her. I keep saying them. I only have one cat now. Two of the chicken flavor hairball control. Yay! She loves these seriously. I'm a little worried if she sees the bag or she's gonna rip it open or something. So that is that box. I didn't bring scissors, so. Oh wait, this one's open. I don't even know what I got that's jingly. I don't I don't know if I got toys or whatever. So this one's open because, oops. Well, here's the, the little envelope that came with Everest tag. Everest has fallen asleep on that bunny. She loves that bunny. I kind of want to get another one because the thing is, you know, as she gets older, she might destroy it. And you know how you like, they have that first baby toy that they really like. Like, I'd like to have that backup, maybe. I don't know, anyway. So I ended up opening up this bag because Everest is on antibiotics right now. She obviously is a teeny, teeny, teeny little thing and they took, it's like this huge pill that she has to take and they did half them, but they're still pretty big and she's not gonna be able to eat them, whether it be in, in peanut butter or whatever, she would not eat it. So I was like, listen, <laughs> I gotta get some cans. So I did break this open. She's only, she's literally not even had a full can yet. Don't worry guys, this isn't necessarily for puppies. This is just the Taste of the Wild High Prairie Canine Formula, formula with Bison in Gravy. And this is a grain free food. Now this is, you know, kind of not, it's not a puppy food, <laughs> but she doesn't get this as, as a food. She literally gets a little spoon of it with the pill mashed up in it and she, loves this you guys she absolutely loves this so i do have this case of this this was i ordered this you know so she'll have it um when you order cans from chewy they do send you a case so i have those and then and then and then oh i have some extra stuff in here that i didn't know i had i did get her the uh toothbrush so I'm not gonna like go ahead and brush her teeth right away, but this is something that I wanted to have on hand. As well as nail clippers, I do have nail clippers. I did get those, sorry, I don't know where they are. <laughs> um, we have the, this is Nyla Bones kit, and it comes with a little finger brush as well as an angled brush, and of course, the pet toothpaste. So this is a nice little kit. Um, again, it's by Nyla Bone. I mean, not my first choice, but the thing is, it works, and it's USA made toothpaste. So you can't go wrong. So set that there. And then here are the puppy bites that I mentioned that I got. These are from Wellness. I remember Wellness when I worked at a pet store, we were promoting Wellness for a while. So I'm pretty familiar with the brand. And I really do appreciate the first couple ingredients are actual foods. They are not grain free though. I'm not like very, very strict on, you know, if she has treats, they don't have to be grain free, whatever. But the main part of her diet I'd rather be grain free or raw so we have oh wait they are grain free my bad <laughs> perks I didn't even know that it says grain free healthy goodness okay I didn't even know that I thought they weren't for some reason anyway the first couple ingredients are lamb salmon chickpeas and ground potatoes so I'll take it I'll take it and are they flavored lamb and salmon perfect for training so I'm hoping she'll like these I don't know we'll see it now for the big item in here. This is actually a bigger bag than I thought it was. <laughs> for some reason I was thinking it was the size of M's food. Alright. So of course, I've already wait, raved about Taste of the Wild for the past 20 minutes. Hold on. I have to get this box out the way. So I raved about Taste of the Wild for the past 20 minutes. Stay. <laughs> And I did get the Taste of the Wild High Prairie Puppy Recipe with Roasted Bison and Roasted Venison, a grain-free diet. I'll try to lift this up. It's a heavy one. I don't know how many pounds it is, but here it is. So it's a bigger bag than I thought, but she's going to be a puppy for a while, so it's no big deal. I might actually end up buying another one of these. I don't know. How long is she going to be a puppy for? She's going to be a puppy for a while. <laughs> anyway, got that. Yeah, it's 28 pounds. Let's go ahead and put that back here. And I have to grab the other box I have it's over there and then get some scissors for this box. Okay guys, so this is not out of the box and I'm not gonna set it up yet because it's not really useful yet, but I got it because it was $9 off and your girl loves a deal. 
and I love these gates. So if you guys have cats and dogs and you don't want your dog going into an area that your cat goes in, I recommend this gate. I 100% or even a child or you know a child and you want your cat to go through but you don't want your child to go through, I recommend this gate. It's so good. It's the Carlson Pet Products. I've showed it several times. I have one of these but my family has it because they have Sahara and Bindi now. So they <laughs> they kind of need it. Uh, so I gave that back to them and I bought a new one. And I'll try to describe it as best I can. It is a, it's a gate that goes in the doorway. Just works, you know, just like a, a baby gate, pet gate, whatever. And it has a little, t a little cat hole in the bottom that also has a little latch and everything. So you can open it and close it and your cat can go in and out or you can close it, whatever. So I got this for the litter room or the pet room. So I have an extra bathroom in my apartment and it's basically just the animal room. I have the litter boxes in there. I have the foods. I have litter i have everything in there so it will be for that because she will uh, obviously end up finding that litter and start eating the cat poop and i don't want that to happen thing is she's still too tiny to be able she's still too tiny she can fit right through the small hole better than m can so i'm not gonna set it up it's just it's just gonna kind of sit here until we're ready for it but honestly i cannot rave about this gate enough it's so awesome i love it and i was actually i pets it as a side business and I was at a house that just had these everywhere and it was really really nice it was just it's just really nice they're great fantastic I don't have anywhere to put this now all right I'll put it over here but I do have one more box which apparently doesn't have a lot of stuff in it I thought I got a couple more things I don't know if they just didn't come in yet or what but anyway so you're hearing this jingling I remember ordering this because I was unsure about the potty training at first so I got this I was really, I, oh gosh, I wanted to do a video on this as well, but I don't know if I'm going to use it because she is doing well with her potty training and she sits by the door when she has to go to the bathroom kind of at this point, or she'll just end up going over here, but it's, it's hit or miss, but there's potty training bells. I've heard of these. My mother actually recommended these to me. Like she was like, why don't you get bells? Cause we tried that. We didn't try it with Bindi, but we did like around Christmas time, we had bells on the door and she would hit them with her nose. So it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so now these are actually potty training bells. No more scratching at the door. Teach your dog to use potty training bells with the instructions included. And then you have step-by-step -step on it, which if I do a video, which I might, I might do a video on this, uh, like a whole designated video. So it attaches to your door, it is adjustable. So, you know, for the dog's height, the thing is she's still so small. I don't know if this will actually, you know what, it might reach. She's very, she, she's woken up now, she doesn't like it. The thing is, these are very jingly bells. You okay, you don't like the bells? <laughs> she might be afraid of the bells, who knows. Um, she is afraid of a lot of things, we're working on it. It's just, you know, she's just a baby. So it does adjust, so when your dog gets taller, you know, you can kind of do this, and then it'll be this short, but you know, for longer purposes, it's this height. So I think, I really do think, yeah, it'll be good. She'll be able to reach it for sure. She's very intrigued by it. So I don't know, I'm very uncertain about that. I don't know if I want to, where are you going? All right, I got the little rascal. I think she probably needs to go out soon. <laughs> We've been filming this video for a long time, but the good thing is we're almost done. So, last but not least, I got this for her food, which is in a bigger bag than I thought, so I'm going to need a bigger container. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do in that sense. Uh, yeah, I probably should have got a bigger container. It's fine. It's okay. We'll work with it. So I use these. I have Lucy's food in one. I have M's food in one, and now I have her food in one. I really, really should have got a bigger one. I didn't really think that through very well, but I will use it because it matches the other ones and it's kind of like the same size and they'll all kind of fit together. That is going to wrap up our puppy haul for today. I gotta take little ma'am outside, huh? Huh, Everest, you gotta go outside? You gotta go outside? All right, we gotta go. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time. Ooh.